So it's time for some lighting upgrades in my Outdoors RV 24 RLS. You can see right there I've got some blue tape on the ceiling. That's some measurements I did here a while back of and location for a new light. So that is centered left to right and it is not quite centered front to back between the cabinet bulkhead and this roof vent. So what we need to do first is pull off the interior trim piece for this roof vent so I can get access to the ceiling cavity. Basically that's the attic space in there. And then fish some wire from this light over to that light. The lights that I'm going to use are identical to what's in there already. These lights are made by ITC. They're located in Holland, Michigan. And here's the model number right here. 69231B-3KE. I don't believe this exact light is made anymore. This has a glass lens. It's all LED. The new style fixtures I believe are all plastic and the lens is Lexan and the lens is actually glued to the light body. And I have a two and a quarter inch hole saw. I'll put my mandrel in it. And what I'm going to do here is hold up a five gallon bucket to catch as much of the sawdust as I can. And that's why I was taking it real slow and easy so I didn't tear up a bunch of insulation. I have a piece of household wire here. A piece of coat hanger straightened out works really good for doing this stuff too. One thing you do have to be careful about is this air conditioning duct. So I think I'll start at this side. And you can kind of hear where the wire is going, so you just kind of got to manipulate it around a little bit. And there we have it. And another way of doing this, too, is I could fish the wire from here over to here, and then push it up through the front of the vent. Just kind of hold it up and assist the wire going through. There we are. Easy as that. You notice how I put tape all the way around my hole? That's to prevent tearing up the paneling and causing it to splinter. And once you get your wire pulled through, I would recommend going ahead and putting a little extra down at this end. And then at your other end, go ahead and cut it to length because I have some pretty big spools of wire and the weight of that wire is going to want to pull this wire back through until I get it cut off. And that actually already happened once. Stay tuned to the end of the video and you'll see the little blooper. And when I tuck the wire back up here, I'm just sort of going to tuck it under the insulation, back here out of the way towards the far side of the RV. And we want to make sure that we get it back away from where these springs are going to hold the fixture into the ceiling. Because we don't want one of these springs laying over the top of those wires. And then we'll do the same thing with wires on this light. Just sort of coil them up, wrap them out away from where the springs are going to be compressing the light in place. And these springs are really stiff. you got to watch it so they don't smash your finger. Okay, this is much better. I've got much more light over the bed. And that's exactly what I wanted. Start to finish, the project only took about 20 minutes and total cost was about $10 to $12 for the light and probably about another $7 for the yellow and white wiring. But the wiring was something I had left over from the other project so it wasn't really an additional cost just for the purpose of this project.